we're here just at the framing stage and we're just uh, working our way around. Uh, we Just this morning we got this the tiny house trailer leveled. So we just got if you look down here we have the scissor jacks and we have extra blocking just to keep it rigid. And right now what I am doing is I'm working on uh, the perimeter. We're going to be dropping the sheathing lower so we're going to be building it down all the way around um, just to do a, a little bit of a skirting action there and um, here we're starting to work on the rafters or the ceiling joists for the barreled roof lock and let me just uh, just show you around on the what we've done here with the framing if you could take a look here this is our first loft or the loft up above the bathroom and what we did there is we got LVLs and we ripped them down LVLs are a lot stronger than a dimensional material and we have it uh, with the joist hangers there and really what we did for wall heights uh, typical uh, door height is 80 inches that's the standard door that you would go and buy and with that being said what I want to do is because we're working to a height that needs to be that needs to be we can't go more than 13 feet 8 inches what we want to do is we want to maximize the loft space so what we did was at a standard wall height is 8 feet well, we made our wall heights here seven feet, and that with a with a two by four loft that gives you uh, a door height of 80 inches underneath the loft. So that's why we did our walls at seven feet. And where you can see um, at the tops of the window there, we have a four by four header. And um, really, really, what we have on our windows is we have a uh, 2 by 7 LVL. What we're doing is we're really overbuilding. Um, we want to make we want to make sure that everything is strong because it is going to be moving down so everything's going to be uh, nailed rather than screwed and the the areas that would be screwed will be using structural screws from strong tie. And right now it's just just a lot of fun. Sun is rising in the sky. There's salmon smell in the air. But there's just one thing that we must do is to build this tiny house. Let's get the work! of the roof is going to extend out to the ends of these walls. So here we have a gable and these are going to be our rafters and it's going to curve. So there's going to be a ridge that comes out and dies into this roof here and this area will be another little cubby area where we'll put some stuff. 